they have the capability, the will, the budget to pull off some pretty fantastic things. Space race. It was a very uh, big, bold, ambitious vision, plan, execution. All within 10 years, we went from nothing to the moon. But that was it. Then for 40, 50 years, we had nothing. And I think that that has left a lot of people wanting more and wondering what happened. I think where we are today, there is still a lot of that national prestige and governments wanting to do firsts for humanity. I think that we're seeing a lot of that from China especially. I think there's a lot of potential for their space agency in the coming years. They've come on the scene very quickly. They've increased their space budgets considerably over the last few years and we're seeing that play out. They're aiming to have their new space station, Tiangong 3, up in early 2020s. This is coming on the heels of Tiangong 1 and 2, which are our prototype stations, which is similar to how We've done our stations in the past. They launched a lunar lander, landed on the moon in 2013. They're planning to follow up their lunar missions to the far side of the moon with human missions. They're very interested in human spaceflight and their human spaceflight program is very serious. By the way, every time they come out with a new timeline, it gets shorter and shorter. You don't hear that very often with government programs, but I think it just points to their ambition and what it is they're trying to do. The point of it all is that they've come on the scene very quickly. They're very ambitious. They have the will, they have the budget, and they have the capability now to be able to do some pretty amazing things over the next few years.